there, Jason Johnson with T1 Trust, coming to you from Dover, Ohio. Here at Dover Tank and Plate, uh, the manufacturer of the locomotive frame for the PRR 5550. It's a historic day. The frame welding has just been completed. So as the frame sits here, everything is done. Been a long time coming with two years of engineering leading up to uh, six months of actual construction. So I'm here with Davey Lawless, Dover Tank and Plate. He's been the project manager on this and uh, he's going to give us a little bit of information on the shop here as well as the frame, what it took to get to this point. So thanks Davey and let our viewers know what you see here. Thank you, Jason, again for all the work you've given us. And uh, the project has certainly been an interesting one for anybody and especially us. So a little bit about the frame here. It's about 64 foot long total, weighs about 71,000 pounds. It was all fabricated out of ASTM A572 grade 50 plate, three quarter inch thicknesses all the way up to two inch with a few going up to the eight inch range. We were able to fabricate all of this in-house and burn it all in-house on our plasma tables here and uh, OxyFuels. And then we had two of our best fabricators on this project for about 3,500 hours. There is about 1,500 pounds total of weld wire in this throughout the flux cord process as well as submerged arc process. We did our own procedure qualification for an open route and then flux core fill. As we went through, we had to map out how everything went together and put the plates together in our heads before actually fabricating anything because you certainly don't want to cut something like this apart. Each little piece is planned out well before it goes on the train and that's why we had our two best guys on this. And it, well, it all turned out pretty good. We're happy to have it go out of production here. Well, thank you, Dave, for that. Like I said, it, and these guys have been fabulous to work with all along the process. We had to make some changes along the way. They were very adaptive to that. Uh, helped us out along the way, came up with extra solutions. As you can imagine, the complexity of manufacturing this, everything had to be done in the correct order. It's kind of like painting a room. You don't want to paint yourself into a corner and there's no way out. Every weld had to be pre-planned. It's more of a game of chess when it came down to it. So their team did a great job of planning that all out and bringing this to fruition. So the next step on this is the cylinders. They are currently cutting the material for the cylinders now, which then will be sent off to the machine shop, machined, and then will be brought back here, welded out, and then added to this frame. And then we can take the frame to the uh, locomotive erection facility where we, the whole locomotive will be assembled. So excited about those next steps. Thank you for showing you what your donations are, are being spent on. So continue to uh, open up your wallets and donate to us and we'll continue to bring you uh, big parts just like this. Thank you. Mm -hmm.